there are six steps on how to start if you are trying to start in today's economy first and always most important is rather than watching right and left what others are doing and making money see inside that who are you uh, what kind of skill set makes you happy if you are an artist but you decide to become content writer uh, then you might not be a good content writer and vice versa if you are a content writer but you decide to become an artist or an animation vfx or something you might not be a very good graphic designer because you don't have creative juices to flow now what you need to ask yourself and sometimes you don't explore until you put yourself in the shoe of others is you have to test the water you have to test yourself doing internships doing externships doing job if it's for a very small pay or let's say free of cost you're just challenging your mind you're challenging your heart set mindset that is this something i can do is this something when pressure creates on me am i delivering that at fullest or do I get frustrated? Do I get tired easily? This is when you are learning about yourself. So rather than jumping off, starting up a company, try working for someone for three months, six months at small money free. This is not waste of time. This is actually valuable time you're saving because you get to know that which are three, four areas which are in demand. There are so many things in demand. I have so many videos based on high demand occupations for 2023. You can Google it up. There are infographics. So many content is available. You need to know who you are and choose from that list accordingly. So that's one. Identify your passion and then sustainable occupation which can make you money. You have to have the marriage between both. Second thing is research market demand. Now, what does the research market demand mean? I'm also taking sessions as I do whenever I travel everywhere in Pakistan, uh, Central Asia, Afghanistan. Uh, I haven't traveled yet, but there are a lot of Zoom sessions I've done. I try to more focus on developing economies, giving helping hand there for this kind. So let's say last year I would have trained many students to get into graphic space, content space, not last year, three years back. But if I would have to do that session again, which I do career coaching, I would not suggest to get into content. I would not suggest to get into basics of digital marketing. Why? Because chat GPT, especially version four is taking over the world. There are so many startups opening, trying to automize these things. So if you being a budding entrepreneur are training yourself to get into this scale, you might not be producing good results and your job would be eaten up. Let's say in bank, there are so many chaos there versus the customer service officers, any banking branch, whether in North America, Central Asia, Shia Yogo, there are only two, three banking officers versus there used to be a team of nine, ten. Where are those seven, eight people gone? Replaced by automation, kiosk, robots. Same thing will be happening to content writers, same thing will be happening to digital marketeers, link builders. So if you are in redundancy, if you are in something that could be optimized you will be out of the game so in today's economy don't try to get into something which could be replaced like content or uh, those kinds of old style seos or social media but you can be an nft designer versus being a logo designer you can be a crypto designer versus an old uh, seo rewriter or something like that you can get into python this is the name of the game it always stay it's a data science language you can do something like google flutter it's a multi-task programming language for android ios so people will keep on making apps doesn't matter the phone style change but their developers will be there still chat gpt is not a very strong on the development end things will take time and if it becomes strong maybe still there will be developers required as a proofreader so maybe your job might switch from developers to proofreaders but still it, uh, it it will not likely go away like we see content writers and basic logo designers will be wiped off uh, in some time and we have tested these chat gpt some of the startups which are not yet released they really produce good results so uh, not a sign of fear uh, a sign of caution third thing is you have to access competition and access competition means Sometimes you have to act as a customer first, enter the market, spend some money, see what kind of bids you get, see what kind of people apply to your projects and then you will see, oh my god, I was thinking to develop this project in let's say small hundred dollars, 
and somebody is ready to do that for ten dollars and they are producing quality so if they are producing quality for the quantity then this is something you should not think to enter and there are so many other things you can do but if there is a quantity there will always be a quantity when there is uh, competition but you have to make sure is that quantity bringing the results or is there a compromise result if there is a compromise result then yes you can enter the market charge a premium and develop because there are always client willing to pay extra dollars if you develop and deliver them the quality results so that's important access the competition number four is i'm referring to my notes on ipad so uh, don't mind me switching from right to left sometimes uh, Number four is who's your target market. So let's say you being a freelancer, you think that, okay, I'm starting my call center, BPO, business process outsourcing. I want to be a call center for people sitting in Canada, North America, then decide who will you be specialist for. Will you be targeting gas stations there? Then become specialist for there. Try to visit US, Canada. Uh, if you don't have access, talk to people who are there in the same business. Add them on Facebook, Zooms, LinkedIn, see videos on that, how this business operate, what are the gaps, what are the SWOT analysis, strength, weakness, opportunity, threats. Or maybe pick up the realtors, it's a booming word. Or pick up the solar people who install solar panels. Or pick up the roof leakers, you know. Uh, there's always Harveys and, you know, hurricanes and those kinds of things. Suddenly there is a jump in demand of roof uh, makers, you know. So you can target them being a call center. But become specialist, your website should say you master of one, not the jack of all. Because if you become jack of all, this is an ocean. Freelancing is a trillion dollar market. There are close to millions of freelancers worldwide. You're competing with somebody sitting in North America, to Cambodia, to Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, China. South America is getting heavy on it. So there is always a space for it. And people make good money, half a million to million dollar a year. And we've seen those accounts as well on Upwork and Fiverr. Fiverr looks like a five dollar portfolio, but I've seen myself some students making twenty five thousand dollars a month. There is no joke. It's about close to half a million dollar of revenue and complete profit revenue, 50, 60 percent profit. So this is short business is there, but choose it wisely. Who will be your target audience? That's the fourth point. Fifth point is experimentation. So experimentation means now you have decided who is your customer, what kind of service set you need to give, what kind of certification you need. You can go to ASM.co, it's American Academy of Continuing Education. You can take any free certificate. We serve in 21 areas and uh, at least you can put that you are certified by the American Accreditor. And there is zero dollar to it. So just remember us in prayers for the good work. Uh, spread the word. but. Uh, Experimentation means making gigs, trying to bid, changing your bid styles because you might not be lucky to get project in first month, sometimes in three months if you are in a competitive skill set. But uh, journey of thousand miles begin with first single step, you know, some wise man told me. So that's again a quote from a very uh, standout speaker. But uh, Always experiment, reflect, experiment, reflect, experiment, reflect. Because as an entrepreneur, you need to have a habit of not being successful in the first go. Because if you think you will be successful immediately, you might not. And if you are lucky in the first go, then still you will not learn a lot. So develop some patience. Uh, things don't work in the first go. Sixth point is... Uh, leverage your personal branding now leverage your personal branding means let's say you decide that you will be a coach to realtors for example now you need to develop your personal brand and for that you need to be a realtor in the past you need to be struggling through those hives you need to be uh, developing that kind of persona that other budding realtors get attracted to you you know you're a problem solver then you become a coach so you need to develop YouTube videos, podcasts, LinkedIn posts, Twitters, TikToks, around the corner, be speaking at the gigs, workshops, nationally, internationally, locally, sponsored meetup events. You have to do a lot of things like that so that people start knowing you, that you are someone in that space who can 
coach other realtors to turn out their revenue cycles. This is just an example. You can be someone in the solar niche, you can be someone in a content niche, you can be someone who is a high authority link builder for websites like Forbes, CNN and all, but you need to display that what kind of work you have done and relations you have. So that's called personal branding in the line of action. And again, that comes from clarity of mind. You cannot keep on switching it. And there are some entrepreneurs who are diverse, like Richard Branson has 10 different businesses and 10 different things. Some people like that change, but your primary establishment should always be one. Seventh is obviously networking, collaboration, attending meetups, going to events, workshops, exhibitions, placing your brand image out to the people. That costs you money, but that brings you good results. One strong qualified lead from a B2B buyer can pay your bills for the whole exhibition, Las Vegas fees, tickets, everything. You know, just an example, there are exhibitions worldwide. Dubai, there is a very big consortium going on in Lisbon, you know. Uh, this is one of the very big global events. So keep an eye on what's going on. You know, sometimes go to China if you are in the manufacturing business. You know. And last is adapting. So adapting means now you are there in the market, you have got the business, you are growing. But now if you become into an ego style that now nobody can touch me, I'm, I'm making let's say $5,000 a month or $50,000 a month somebody will wipe you off still so you need to continuously upgrade yourself get continuing education get to the next level see how you deliver smart results like cheaper faster quality oriented and creative results i hope this helps you these were eight pillars on how to identify the passion up to delivering successful economy being a freelancer or an entrepreneur or a budding professional Hope this helps you and we'll keep on continuing to coach you with this. Farid Pramani, Radio Magnus.